Hello friends, welcome to automation community. In this video, we will be developing ladder logic from Boolean expression. So let's look at the example first. Example 14. Y is equal to A plus B into C plus D. Then Y is equal to A plus B into C. So we will start with the first one. That is Y is equal to A plus B into C plus D. So we will move to Eco Structure Machine Expert where we will draw a ladder diagram for the example. I will open Eco Structure Machine Expert. I will keep Read Protection as inactive and Write Protection as inactive and then click on Apply. Then I will go to Configuration tab where I will select a Logic Controller. I will be using TM221 C24R. I will click on it and drag it to here. Do you want to replace? Yes. Then I can also go to serial line where I can select protocol. I will select it as TMS2GDB and then I will click on apply. Then I will go to programming tab. So here I will be drawing ladder diagram for the example. I can also click on a full screen mode here and then zoom into it like this. So y is equal to a plus b into c plus d. There is OR gate with a and b and there is another OR gate with c and d. And then there is AND gate with output of a plus b and c plus d. So I will insert normally open contacts. Then I will insert a coil. So I will connect these normally open contacts by drawing a line like this and then this. Now I will assign address to these contacts and then to the coil. I will start with this contact. I will address it as I 0.0, .0 and then I 0.1. I will also add symbol to it as A ES and then B yes. So here there is OR gate with the input A and B. Then I will assign address to it as I 0.2 and then I 0.3. I will also add symbol to it as C yes and then D. Yes. Then I will assign address to the coil as Q 0.0. .0. I will also add symbol to it as Y. Yes. So here is OR gate with input C and D. And then there is AND gate with the output of A plus B and C plus D. So for output Y to be on, either A or B should be on and either C and D should be on. So one of the two inputs should be on and here one of the input should be on and so that Y will be on. So I will exit full screen mode here. I will compile the program. Then I will go to commissioning and launch simulator.
Then I will start controller. To do so, click OK. I'll click on full screen mode. As you can see, when I turn on I0.0 and I0.2, the output Y will be true. Or if I put I0.0 on and I0.3 on, The output will be true or if I put I 0.1 and 0.3 on then also Y will be on or if I put I 0.1 and I 0.2 on the output Y will be on. So for output Y to be on A or B should be on and C or D should be on. So one of a or B should be on or one of the two that is C or D should be on and then only Y will be on. So we will exit full screen mode. We'll go to commissioning and stop simulator. Then we will go to programming tab. We will delete this rung and then we will add a new rung. So here we will draw a ladder diagram for the next one. That is y is equal to a plus b into c. So here there is OR gate with the input a and b. And then there is AND gate with the output of a plus b and c. I will click on a full screen mode here. I will insert normally open contacts. I will also add sim I will also add address to these contacts as I 0.0, .0 which is A and then I 0.1 that is B and then we will insert a coil here and then I need to connect this contact by drawing a line like this. So here there is OR gate with the input A and B and then there should be AND gate with the output of A plus B with C. So I will insert one more normally open contact here. I will assign it address as I 0.2 that is C. So here there is OR gate with A and B and then there is AND gate with the output of A plus B and C. Then I will assign address to the coil as Q 0.0 that is Y. So for output Y to be on, C should be on and with that one of the two inputs that is A or B should be on and then only Y will be on. I will exit full screen mode here. I will compile the program. And then I will go to commissioning and launch simulator. Then I will start controller. To do so, click OK. Then I will go to programming tab. So if I turn on A and C, the output Y will be on. Or I can also turn on B and C. And then also output Y will be on. It was all about this example. Thank you for watching.